So, Tuli, hi. How are you doing? How are you? Good. Okay. Uh, I guess if we're not going to use that, we should take that out of the way. What do you think? This front piece. Let's vote on it. Oh, good idea. Let's vote on it. How do you vote? Get rid of it. Out. 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 Okay. Tuli. Well, uh, Feist, we'd love to do two songs for you and then maybe... Then yeah, maybe we'll chat. And then maybe you'll interrogate us. I'd love to. And then if there's time, we'll do another song. Okay. Here's the tunes. Um, these, are brought, the, these are two new songs that have never been performed before. And... Uh, at least not like this. <laughs> and I, I, uh, I wanted to write a song about New York City, but I realized that William Blake had already written it in 1790, and he called it London. I wander through each chartered street near where the chart In every face I meet Marks of weakness, marks of woe In every cry of every man In every infant's cry of fear In every voice, in every pain The mind forge manacles I hear Maybe I should move over and talk to you for a little while. And I understand something very interesting is happening in that the fogs are going to Europe. Oh, you know about that, right? Here I come. It is happening. We're going to Europe. We're playing the One World Poetry Festival the same night as Ken Kesey, I think. Really? Yes. Am I crowning you? <laughs> no, it's okay. Okay. And, um,. Then going on to Copenhagen and then a week in Scandinavia. <laughs> Sorry. And then a week in no a day in Zurich. Uh-huh. And then I'm going to Italy to eat for three days. Oh. Where are you going for three days? I'm gonna sleep. Yeah. Sleep. <laughs> and then Switzerland. Is this, is there another member of the group? Maybe Ed will shower for three days. <laughs> well. No, there's another member of the group, but you're not supposed to tell you what he's going to be doing. For three days. <laughs> we'll leave that to your imagination. So is this the first time the Fogs have gone to Europe as a group? No, we went uh, several times um, in the 60s. And how, came back. what kind of response did you get when you were there? Fantastic. Amazing. Uh, they, uh, <laughs> they were uh, very enthusiastic about the uh, group. And what do you think is going to happen now? I think they'll be enthusiastic. I think they will too. It's as, mm. as good now as it ever was. And I remember the Village Voice said about your last performance that rock and roll needs the fugs more than the fugs need rock and roll. And in a way that's 
that's sort of a, a wonderful thing to have said about you. If I said it right. <laughs> Maybe something Let's like. just say we need each other. Oh, good. Well, I think this is wonderful. After last year was the reunion, after how many years of not being a group? 15. Yeah. So now you just picked up the ball and are a group again or going out on tour. That's what we're doing. <laughs> Isn't that so? Yeah. Now, I find it refreshing, to say the least, to see a group made up of people who are, shall I say, over 25. He looks like he's over 25. He's not over 25. I'm sorry. It's just hanging around with you. Well, we don't want to play with a bunch of old people like us. <laughs> We'd want to do that. Well, I think that people who remember the Fox, and certainly many do, and a new, are, is there a new uh, generation of Fugs fans? Well, we don't call them fans. <laughs> other, other groups have fans. We have intelligent people who listen to good music, right? Right. And like, like uh, you know, in the 60s, the groupies were always other people. Yeah. So you didn't groupies. have any groupies? We didn't have groupies, no. no. We had a lot of women sure. who liked us, but you know, <laughs> we're smart, intelligent women. Oh, I see. And, and whom we like, and men. And respected. And young men, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. They respected us. <laughs> <laughs> well, good. So, uh... When are you coming back? I'm not coming back. Uh-oh. <laughs> no, I'm coming back when the URL pass expires. <laughs> That'll be a lot of fun. Unless I can get into Israel. He wants to go to Israel. Well, On I'm a also URL going pass. To Greece. Nice. I'm also going to Greece. So I, I mean, I, I'm not a, a Zionist chauvinist pig. <laughs> no, certainly not. And not everyone in the... Uh, Who has a URL pass is, is right. right. <laughs> and even some people in the U.S. are okay. Are you going to go on tour of the United well, States find them, yeah. when you well, get back? We thought we'd let the, U the United States tour us. Uh, no, I don't, we don't know. Our plans are vague. Well, I really can't wait for this weekend, and uh, I know all of you who want to really be... Malik and Wild Man. Do you know Wild Man? Yes, we do. He can't wait for this weekend. He's been calling everybody. He's our number one intelligent... Uh, Fan. Uh, audience. Groupie. No. He himself you comprises you the entire audience. You since the 60s, have you? <laughs> <laughs> so the Wild Man is going to be there. Is he going to be at every show? I think so. <laughs> That's good. Well, I will certainly be at the late night, Saturday night show for all those fans out there that want to join me, buy me a drink, buy the table a drink. Glad to have it. You know, I have fans like that. Believe it or not. So this is really exciting. Do you have any more songs that you could do for us? That you have prepared. I'd love it. No, I love it. I no, love it. No, I don't think we do. do no, we? I don't. Think we could show you how we practice. Okay, just pretend well, actually, we're not I here. Practice the, I practice on the stage, but they're very fine musicians now, so I get into trouble. They expect me to rehearse before we uh, do our actual performance, right? He gets the benefit of the doubt. He just likes music. He likes to play music all well, the time. Well, he is so wonderful. Kramer, you're great. He's not uh, playing. He's not... Uh, he's good, really. He's not... Uh, it's not practice to him. It's just play. But He knows me, what to do. You bet. Well, that's marvelous. It is. The Fogs. You know, you were mentioned in a book uh, uh, by Deanne Stillman. Judy, Jacqueline, and Ann Beats, and in the book it said that the word fugs, it was um, something that they were writing about Norman Mailer, and then yeah. the word fug came up, and it had an asterisk and a footnote that said, the only other living writer in America who thinks 
that the word fuck should be spelled F-U-G is Julie Kofenberg. Who said that? Well, no, one no. of those three women said that. Now let me put this in its proper perspective. Okay. Fuck may not be much to you today. <laughs> it may not mean much to you. Fuck here, fuck there. But uh, in those days, uh, we were amazed when we saw our ad accepted at the, in the New York Post. Now, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, today we probably couldn't get an ad in it either. <laughs> but uh, for different reasons. Um, we picked that because it was as close to the word "fuck" that we could get without uh, everyone knew what we meant. And we used it satirically. Uh, Mela had used it seriously, I guess, in Naked and the Dead, because uh, it, which she probably wrote it about 48 or early 50s. And uh, then you couldn't say fuck in a book without really getting into trouble. But maybe those times are coming back. Well, thank you for, that, for putting that into perspective. Yeah, you know. <laughs> It was good. I think, I think it was good. Everyone agrees it was wonderful. Uh, we're almost out of time. God help us. Uh, don't forget to come join us this weekend. I will not be very drunk. I won't. I'll be fine. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Anyhow, they're going out on tour of Europe, and you won't see them for a couple of days, weeks, something like that. They were unclear as to when they might be coming back or if they're coming back. But thank you so much. I was so glad that you got to meet Kramer and uh, something happened to my mic. <laughs> Here it is.